Okay, let's start. Just a few words. Thank you for from uh, Nuage Network to invite us to uh, explain a little bit what we done <coughs> with them on our infrastructure. Uh, I'm here with uh, Fatoumata, who is our uh, platform owner on network and security, and Maxime, who is the network engineer, the real uh, expert on Nuage. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, uh, so the agenda, I will go very quickly on Numergy because I'm not sure that everybody knows Numergy. Expect all Numergy guys over there and New Ash people over there. We still have other guests in the room. <laughs> so Numergy have been um, built uh, two years ago from uh, with three investor SFR. Bull and uh, the uh, La Caisse des Dépôts, which is the uh, French com um, government. We are now uh, two years after a little bit more than uh, 100 people in the company. We have four data centers. We have one network operation center, one SOC, one lab, and also two POP, which uh, allow us to connect on the on the internet. I put a lot of different information on the side, but basically we are using a uh, different kind of hardware. The main one for the compute is uh, HP, and on the network is Alcatel Lucent with Nuage on top of it. We are providing a bunch of different services. Uh, the main one is uh, security, which include a lot of different kind of uh, small services inside, but we have a SOC uh, taking care of all the security aspect of our customer uh, 24 hours. We are also providing some uh, SLA in four nines. Oops, come back. <laughs> Ça c'est fait. <laughs> okay. Uh, in terms of business, uh, we are working only on indirect mode. So we are working with partner. So they are using our own infrastructure to build their solution to sell to end customer. So today we have roughly a little bit less than 100 partners uh, using our infrastructure. We and we have uh, somewhere a thousand end customer uh, working or using our uh, VM or network infrastructure. A small slide just to explain and to show you some of our partner and the kind of service that they are providing on our uh, platform. I will not go in detail in it. <laughs> uh, Numergy is definitely uh, based in France, and we want to stay in France. We want to localize our data in France. That's our main goal, but France is not enough. Uh, so we already started to work on um, a pan-European uh, alliance. So what we done is we uh, look after different cloud provider, a public cloud provider in all the country, and we uh, start discussion with them to integrate uh, their offer to us and uh, having a, a one unique uh, proposition, European proposition for our customers. We'll talk a little bit more technically on it later. Uh, just one thing because um, building everything that we done in less than two years uh, this wasn't possible at all with any uh, real culture uh, implemented in the company, so we are fully agile. Uh, we are trying to be more DevOps than every everybody else. <laughs> uh, so that's our main culture inside the company, and that's why we succeed to build what we done. And now, I will leave stage to Maxime, no. who will... <laughs> C'est Fatou? Yes, Fatou. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> it's okay. So, yeah. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. yes? So, uh, we use OpenStack uh, as a... Sorry? <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, as a public cloud provider, we use OpenStack to orchestrate our cloud because uh, of its modular architecture. Well, you know, yesterday the um, legal example given at the keynote, uh, I think, illustrates it uh, very well. So we can have uh, modular architecture, multi-tenancy, and also automation. And we use it with uh, Neutron. Uh, because also of multi-tenancy and it b uh, allows us to also have uh, multi-networks per tenant. So um, OpenStack with Neutron and we also have um, an approach uh, with SDN solutions because a software defined network definitely uh, allows us to have a network program programmability and dynamic configuration though so it's easy uh, for us when we have a software defined network solution to automate our provisioning and also for scalability and to manage uh, the overlay and have flexibility and also have uh, a perspective to one oriented uh, to bring all the services such as NPLS for our customers and to extend uh, services on NPLS uh, on, on our network. Uh, so knowing that, I will let Maxim um, tell you a bit about no Nuage Network. Yes, yeah, so hello everybody. Uh, so based on these uh, requirements, uh, we decided to choose uh, Nuage. Uh, networks because you reply uh, all uh, stuff. Uh, for example, we can with New Edge uh, manage several uh, orchestrator like OpenStack, of course, that we use. But we can, in addition, use uh, vCloud Director and uh, CloudStack. And New Edge uh, networks can manage uh, several uh, hypervisor tip like uh, KVM, uh, VMware, Xen, and coming soon uh, Microsoft Hyper-V. Uh, Nuage, in addition, uh, have many other key features, like uh, it can uh, be installed on uh, every hardware, uh, so you can use your uh, existing uh, material to, uh, to install Nuage. Uh, and uh, you can install it uh, very easily. You just have uh, two nodes at uh, minimum to, uh, to have a lab or for testing purpose. But if you want to, uh, to have a, a production platform with high availability, there is only a six node to install. In addition, it's, uh, it's really easy to, uh, to connect with OpenStack. You just, uh, OpenStack comes with a core plugin for Neutron, and you change it, you replace it uh, by the plugin from Nuage. And that's it for the controller node. And you install another uh, little uh, software on each hypervisor. Uh, the VRS, the Virtual Routing and Switching module. New Edge uh, can also uh, provide a new an extension of API. Uh, you can uh, use uh, service chaining. It's, it's, it's the way to, uh, to forward traffic based on the source IP address or destination IP address to another uh, VM. Uh, you can also uh, configure SCLs by APL, uh, API, and you can also uh, configure MPLS tunnel to, uh, to connect your public router to the uh, new agent infrastructure directly. Now I just will explain uh, how it works uh, when you create uh, a VM on, uh, on OpenStack. OpenStack, of course, creates the VM and uh, communicate to the, to the compute node to start the VM. Then the module, uh, the VRS uh, installed on each uh, compute node detect the, the instantiation, the start of the VM, and request the all information it needs to build the network uh, on for this VM. So the VSD, the virtual uh, service directory, reply uh, through the, the VSC, the virtual software con service controller, 
to the to the VRS, and the VRS build everything, all the flow needs by the by the VM. Uh, actually, the the flow uh, between the, the two VM uh, on two hypervisor uh, are uh, supported by VXLAN. So there is a direct communication, a direct tunnel uh, on all uh, hypervisor, and with that we are able to uh, to separate the hypervisor across multiple data center. And for the customer, it's like uh, the, the tenants uh, don't see that they are in several data centers. So we can have a um, uh, DRP plan or something like that. So uh, this uh, OpenStack, this infrastructure of OpenStack and uh, New Age Networks uh, able uh, Numergy to be here today and have a production um, platform uh, from uh, since the, the 1st of July. Uh, it's, it's very exceptional because uh, we just start the decision to use New Age uh, at the last, at the December uh, in uh, Last uh, year, last year. Mm. Uh, so we install everything in just three months. Uh, I think it's uh, it's very important uh, to say that. And just in April, first of April, we was with Havana and 2.0 uh, Nuage Network versions. So since that, we upgraded so without uh, service interruptions, and that's. Uh, that was easy to, to migrate, let's say. So, uh, I will now explain uh, the Numergy design in details. Not exactly, but more. <laughs> uh, so, why uh, we choose, uh, of course, Numergy because it offer uh, us the SDN function, uh, but uh, for the load balancing and VPN, um, Numergy is not uh, um, providing. providing this uh, this feature, and because Numergy needs it really, uh, we decide to implement uh, a service VM. So uh, I will explain now uh, how it works basically. Uh, so uh, thanks to NuEdge, uh, we are able to use uh, service chaining. Uh, so we create three rules. Uh, just here, uh, and thanks to this rule, we can um, force the traffic, constrain the traffic to go where we want. So, for example, if uh, I want uh, to go from one VM to another VM on the same subnet, we allow this traffic directly. The traffic not pass, don't pass through the SVM. But if we want uh, a VM talk to another VM on another subnet, we constra constrain the traffic to go through the SVM to be firewalled directly from OpenStack. So we use, uh, with this uh, architecture, we can use the direct uh, API offered by OpenStack for the firewall as a service. <coughs> and we program the, the SVM uh, by an agent, and uh, Numergy uh, develop uh, ourselves this agent to be able to, uh, to, to, to configure the SVM. This agent uh, is directly connected to the NuH plugin and, uh, and Neutron. Ah, yes. Of <laughs> okay. Uh, because we are a public provider, we, we have several, many customers and uh, we have to uh, a big challenge. The challenge is to uh, use efficiently the IPv4 because we don't have uh, much <laughs> IP. Uh, so we have to optimize the, the way we allocate uh, this IP for the customer. Uh, if you want, uh, I can uh, be more uh, detailed for this, uh, but not now. If you, I can reply your answer how we do it at the end of the session. And uh, the last uh, slide is just to show you the, the design, the old design of, uh, of Numergy. As you can see, it's quite simple. We just have uh, all OpenStack components. 
uh, we just install uh, in the middle the new edge component and uh, that's all finally we just have a basic uh, installation of every component and we are able to offer to our customer uh, a, a full service of OpenStack what is key to understand also is additional services that we don't have usually so uh, refiring LB we are providing through the DSG but it's under Horizon it's um, managed by a PI from Neutron so it's fully transparent yes thank you <laughs> uh, so with this design we can have uh, an upgrade uh, configuration so I give the okay. So, um, thank you, Maxime. Uh, with the architecture uh, we build, uh, we can address uh, a hybrid oh. cloud uh, just to offer our customer what they need. It uh, well, when you talk about disaster recovery plan, so you need to store your data, and for security reason, if you have some uh, outage, you just can restore your data and that's we want what we want to offer to our customer and also uh, f talking about cloud is about on-demand services so you can have a peak of workflow and outscaling can bring you uh, that flexibility to manage uh, your resources and your usage and also storage and arch archiving your data and that's a way we see uh, of the opportunity with uh, hybrid cloud is to just change the way you invest and focus your investment on capex uh, on opex rather than capex so that's why uh, with all the architecture we build uh, so with neutral nuage network and our svm we are able to address uh, these services, uh, private cloud uh, and hybrid cloud, for an hybrid cloud. Uh, so with security, uh, we are building in our SVM and also with our uh, security uh, operation center. So next steps will be uh, very focused on the cloud uh, alliance team uh, so to build uh, an infrastructure that will be transparent and where we could provide and where our partners can provide uh, numergy uh, services uh, with transparency and all the contractual um, aspects uh, related to, 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 to it. And also we are looking forward to extend our one uh, with our SDN solution. So being able with Nuage uh, to have a global view of your data center hardware, I mean routers, your PE. Uh, so that's what they call data center interconnect and to have a global view from the VSD uh, graphical interfaces and manage uh, the provisioning of your router in, in the data centers. And also uh, needs uh, f of IPv6 uh, in our infrastructure, so we'll go furthermore uh, with uh, all these aspects. I think we are done. So don't hesitate if you have questions. Uh, we want it to be very interactive and just if you go out, you know what about, what is Numergy, uh, what's Numergy uh, experience on Nuage Network and so don't hesitate. when you 
we talked with our customers today is basically the interconnection. So that's the first thing. So that's why mm. we focus here at the Bridge Network. So we focus on how we manage to be able to give the interconnectivity, whatever the different kind of connectivity you want. Uh, and it's what, it's what we want to do and what we don't is basically to automatize everything. Either a customer wants to be uh, connected with uh, direct light, direct uh, private link, or through a VPN to internet, or an MTNS, or whatever. And everything is um, transparent. transparent. Us, mm. So that's so the first thing. For this one, that's so important. So we have a vision lab outside, and then you can make them interconnected. Okay. Today yeah. we, we want to work on Our world is just to provide uh, infrastructure as a service. So Astra is, is one of our partners. They have the uh, software or any kind of solution to be able to do this uh, aggregation of cloud, to have kind of a software on the top of all the, to manage all the cloud. Oh, that's good. Uh, when you find that? Uh, yeah, for example. Examples, yeah. Uh, Today, I We will upgrade very soon. <laughs> yep. You mentioned that you have security operations centers. Yes. Network operations centers. What different tools does your security center need? Huh. He's not here. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy is here. <laughs> uh, probably one of the guys. Uh, the security, security. team. Can answer. They are over there. They have <laughs> a bunch of different tools. Yeah. What yeah. tools do? The what okay. Tools does the security operation center need to run? Uh, give me a second. Or why do you need constant? Give him a mic. Yeah. Two. Ah, you need tools like. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So you need <laughs> tools like um, uh, password to um, to analyze logs. Uh, needs to like uh, uh, every tool you can get uh, is 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 good to to analyze. So uh, if you you ask what we uh, have, uh, we we have like um, uh, PigVis, uh, which uh, analyze uh, the the connection from administrator and try to to identify. Uh, when there is a, um, you know, a connection we don't sound uh, uh, legit, uh, when it's like a, a strange connection at midnight or something like this, uh, they also analyze uh, log with a processor, RSA Envision. Uh, are you looking at the different tenants on your network, or are you looking at external threats? No, uh, it's dep it depends uh, of the uh, customer. Uh, on the customer. If the customer wants us to look into, we do it. But uh, we, uh, for first, we look uh, globally because we don't want to uh, be too, uh, you know, in turn with the, the data of the customer. Yeah, what we are doing right now is basically looking after all, every, um, every event uh, running on our network, on our infrastructure, inside, outside, but it's on our side. Basically, and we are uh, thinking and starting to launch something a little bit more dedicated for the customer. So doing exactly the same thing, using the same tool, but for the customer. That means that we need to have a little bit more information about the uh, what's going on on the uh, tenant of the customer. So it's a customer choice at the end. Only one. Only one. Yes. Yep. Today. <laughs> sure. Other question? Clear? If you want more information, just Do come on the yeah. booth D4. D4, yeah. Booth D4. Over there. Go on the website also. We have, uh, we have a lot of information over there. Okay, thank you. If no more question, you are free. <laughs> Thank you everybody. Thank you very Thank much. You. <laughs>